we've been working hard continuing our shift from a mobile first to an AI first world. Let me give you an example. Recently, I, I visited Lagos in Nigeria. So it's very exciting unless you happen to be in the Google Maps team and you have to map the city, <laughs> doing a lot of stuff automatically. But it's difficult to do that in a place like Lagos because the city is changing. You can't always see the signage clearly and the, there are variable address conventions. Things are in sequential. 5,000 kilometers of new roads, 50,000 new addresses, and 100,000 businesses. And it's something which makes a real difference for millions of users there. We understand location data. We try to understand patterns, our cars circling around. And the color shows the density of parking. And we can analyze it throughout the day and predict parking difficulty. And in Google Maps, give you options. I literally remember many years ago adding translation in Chrome and making it automatic so that if you land in a page different from your language, we do that for you. Fast forward, we serve over 2 billion translations in many, many languages every single day. To me, it shows the power of staying at a problem, constantly using computer science to make it better, and seeing users respond to it at scale. At a higher level, in an AI-first world, I believe computers should adapt to how people live their lives, rather than people having to adapt to computers. First, people should be able to interact with computing in a natural and seamless way. Third, we think it needs to be thoughtfully contextual. Mobile gave us limited context. You know, with identity, your location, we were able to improve the experience significantly. Finally, and probably the most important of it all, you know, computing needs to learn and adapt constantly over time. But, you know, let me give a, a small example. I use Google Calendar all the time. On Sundays, I try to get a weekly view of how my week looks like. But it needs to learn and adapt. And that applies to important things like security and privacy as well. Today, a lot of us deal with security and privacy by putting the onus back on users. So, we are really excited by the shift, and that's why we are here today. And we are very confident about our approach here because we are at the forefront of driving the shifts with AI. Our Google AI teams announced a new approach called AutoML. AutoML is just our machines automatically generating machine learning models. Today, these are handcrafted by machine learning scientists. We want to democratize this. We want to bring this to more people. We want to enable hundreds of thousands of developers to be able to do it. For a standard task like image classification, understanding images, our auto ML models are now not only more accurate than the best human-generated models, but they are more resource efficient. Let me talk about another use case, object detection being able to draw bounding boxes and distinguish between all the vehicles there. It has a lot of practical use cases. The Street View example for Legos works based on object detection. This is really hard to do. The best human-generated models we have only have a 39% accuracy. Let me give you a concrete example. I was recently very inspired by this tweet from a journalist who was attending the Little League World Series. And later today, you'll get an early glimpse of how we can push this experience further by thinking about AI software and hardware together. So to give you a lot more insights, let me welcome Rick onto the stage. So uh, I thought I would quickly set the scene and explain what we've been working toward and just how it ties into the vision that Sundar outlined. Chromecast Ultra and Daydream View. This is the first generation of hardware made by Google. For starters, our team is getting a lot bigger. We're bringing on 2,000 very talented engineers from HTC, along with some important IP. And our products have built up a lot of momentum going into our second year. Let's take a look. We're thrilled to announce that there are now 55 million Chromecast devices around the world, the US and Canada. And in the last 12 months alone, the Assistant has gotten a lot smarter thanks to Google, and a lot more. And Pixel had a great year. 
I just wish we had a few more of them to go around, but user satisfaction <laughs> among Pixel owners is among the highest of any Google product ever. It's such a competitive space. Well, you all know this better than anyone, but the playing field for hardware components is leveling off. To be honest, it's gonna to be tougher and tougher for, for people to develop new, exciting products each year, because that's no longer the timetable for big leaps forward in hardware alone. As I said last year, the next big innovation will happen at the intersection of AI, software, and hardware. And it all starts with reimagining hardware from the inside out. AI and machine learning have helped us to do this across our products. It removes all of the hassles. Machine learning works throughout the experience to make your pixel photos more vibrant, to smooth out your videos, but to reduce Wi-Fi congestion. While you're moving throughout the house, your router is intelligently transitioning your devices to the best Wi-Fi point and placing you on the right channel. Our deep learning capabilities and neural beamforming help Google Home locate the source of sound and hear you accurately. So we can do with just two microphones what others normally need six or eight to do. Reimagining the experience to make it radically helpful for the user. They're fast, they're there when you need them, they're simple to use, and they anticipate your needs. Everything is designed for you to keep the tech in the background and out of your way. As a family, made by Google products represent the ultimate Google experience, your home. So let's hear next from Rishi Chandra, who leads our home team. And we've been constantly learning from our users so that we can make the assistant radically helpful for you. We've been investing in voice search for over a decade, which is why we have the best voice recognition in the world. We call it voice match. With your permission, we build a model of your voice by looking at dozens of different voice characteristics like vocal construct, pitch, and tone. Google Home is great for the whole family, but it doesn't mean I want to get the same answer to every question. So when you ask a question, we match your voice and we respond with your calendar, your commute, and your personal reminders. You can use your Google Home to call any landline or mobile number in the US or Canada for free. And of course, with voice match, we can recognize your voice to make sure we call your contact with your personal number. So here's what that means to us. We design for the spaces our products live in, and we take inspiration from the materials and colors that people already use to make their home more warm and inviting. Minnie, the newest member of the Google Home family. <laughs> it's the striking simplicity of the design. It's sleek and smooth with no corners or edges and it's small enough to be placed in anywhere in your home. And as you can see, almost the entire enclosure is made out of fabric. And it's not just about aesthetics, it's core to the product experience. So the four LED lights under the fabric are there when you need them, lighting up to show you that it hears you or it's thinking. Adjust the volume or talk to your assistant. We thought a lot about how to get great sound with such a small product too. So it's really crisp, no matter where you stand in the room. You'll be surprised how amazing the quality is. Coral, chalk, and charcoal. For the chalk color alone, it took us 157 tries before we found the perfect shade of gray. You can make it your sous chef in the kitchen, your white noise machine in the nursery, your voice remote for your TV in the living room, or your alarm clock in the bedroom. And it... <laughs> so with that, let's take a look at this ad that we launched later this week. First, we're adding more routines to help you with those everyday moments, like getting ready to leave for work, coming home in the evening, or turning in for the night. This kind of help is exactly what I need to get my day started. Now, another ritual for me in the morning is I'm always looking for my phone before heading to work. We're also working to make the smart home work better for you. The Google Assistant can now voice control over a thousand different smart home products from over a hundred brands. I should be able to say, hey Google, make it warmer. Okay, warming up the living room. Your assistant knows what warmer means and will just take care of it for you. 
your home should smartly adjust to you, not the other way around. So Google and Nest are working together to reimagine the smart home. What I love about Nest's growing ecosystem is that we combine the best-in-class hardware and machine learning to help make people's lives easier. With Nest Cam, Google Home, and Chromecast, we can help keep you keep an eye on your home just with your voice. OK, Google, show me the entryway. OK, streaming the entryway. And then I realize it's not an intruder, but my pet pig. <laughs> of course, most of us want to know who's at the door before we, before we get off the couch. Through a feature called Familiar Faces, Nest Hello will be able to recognize the people that you asked it to remember. As Rishi mentioned, you can personalize your routine to include actions for Nest products. So all I have to say is, hey Google, good night. Okay, let's get ready for bed. I've armed your security system. Your first calendar event is tomorrow at 9 a.m. Your alarm is set for 7 a.m. Sleep well. In the background, my assistant, my assistant is also turning my security camera on, adjusting the thermostat, and turning off the lights. It's really easy. Just say, hey, Google, broadcast is time to leave for school. Got it. Broadcasting now. The assistant will broadcast the message to all the other Google Home devices in my house. It's really great. Parents are going to love this feature. Kids, kids are going to hate this feature. <laughs> These are Google accounts that parents can create for children under 13. They can manage it within the Family Link app. And as we all know, kids have their own unique way of speaking. Sometimes it can be a little hard to understand, even for us parents. Well, fortunately, we've improved our voice recognition accuracy for kids, so the assistant can understand them too. So let me show you how my kids and their friends had some fun this weekend. and best sounding Google Home ever. Just like the Pixel reimagined the camera, we'll do the same with sound, with a combination of great hardware and software powered by Google's machine learning capabilities. It allows Macs to adapt to you, your environment, your context, your preferences. It can dramatically change the sound balance of the speaker and make the music sound muddy and the vocals lose clarity. Well, with Smart Sound, we automatically tune the speaker to correct for this effect using a machine learning model trained with thousands of different room configurations. And over time, Smart Sound will automatically adapt the sound to fit your context, lowering the volume in the morning, raising the volume when the dishwasher is running, or just adjusting the tuning based on the type of media you're listening to. And we also support all free and paid Spotify users, along with other top music services. Just use your voice to start playing your favorite tunes. And of course, Max has a Google Assistant built right in. We made your assist assistant can hear you even when the music is blasting, using our unique microphone placement and Google's neural beam forming technology. You can stand it up vertically, place it horizontally, whatever it makes sense for your space. So when you change Max's orientation, there aren't any rubber feet where they don't need to be. We thought through every detail. And finally, Max works seamlessly with the Google Home family and hundreds of Chromecast built-in speakers. So you can get $399. And it'll come in two colors, chalk and charcoal. Now, we'll initially launch in the US with more countries coming early next year. And we think you're going to really love the newest members of the Google Home family. Along with the updates to the Google Assistant, they represent a big leap forward in the type of helpfulness, fun, and sound you can expect from Google in the home. Let's take a look. Meet. Google Pixelbook, the high-performance Chromebook. <laughs> Pixelbook reimagines the laptop experience, the speed, simplicity, and security of Chrome OS. 
the smarts of the Google Assistant, and all your favorite apps. We'll start with a stunning, versatile design. Pixelbook is the thinnest, lightest laptop we've ever made at just around 10 millimeters thin and a kilogram light. Use it however you want because Pixelbook adapts to fit the office, the classroom, movie night, or even a long flight. Giving it not only a refined look, but improved wireless performance. The 12.3 inch touchscreen display is gorgeously high resolution with vibrant colors, deep blacks, and enough brightness to use outside even on a sunny day. We, and Pixelbook's trackpad uses touch processing algorithms that improve accuracy and palm rejection. i7 processors, Pixelbook packs a punch. It offers plenty of RAM to handle your multitasking needs and gives you up to 512 gigs of storage from a single charge. And plugging in for just 15 minutes gives you two hours of battery life. You can even use your Pixelbook charger with your Pixel phone. We call this instant tethering. <laughs> and then manually connecting to it on my laptop. Now, let's take a further look at the software experience inside Pixelbook. This laptop is fast. It starts up in seconds, stays fast throughout the day, and won't slow down over its lifetime. So you can access them from anywhere, online, or offline. We're also excited to announce that Pixelbook is the first laptop with the Google Assistant built in, making it radically helpful. Okay, Google, play Future Me. And that exact music video I had in mind starts playing on YouTube. That's why we created the new Pixelbook Pen, a smart, responsive companion for your Pixelbook. When you're browsing through a blog and discover a new musician, you can circle their photo and the assistant will give you more information about them. Like if you get stuck on a really unfamiliar concept, just circle the word and the assistant will give you everything you need to know. The, to bring that experience to life, we partnered with the engineers at Wacom and together we built the fastest, most responsive stylus experience ever. 60 degrees of angular awareness, and 2,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, and demonstrates how performance hardware, combined with our expertise in machine learning, delivers a user experience that just works better. So popular smartphone apps are now available on a laptop. In fact, it's never been easier to put the final touches on your favorite photos in Adobe Lightroom, and then post them straight to Instagram. In addition to these amazing Pixelbook experiences you've seen so far, there are many more developers building for the larger screen. Pixelbook starts at $999. is $99. Both products will be available in the US, Canada, and the UK. We can't wait to see how you use Pixelbook to work, play, and create. Next, Mario is going to come out and talk about our Pixel phones. At Google, we believe in questioning the status quo. Asking more from the world around us is in our nature. After all, Google was built on a single question. What if all the information in the world was available to everyone, everywhere? Pixel 2, designed for you with the best of Google built in. five inch and the six inch XL with thoughtful design elements and improvements to the UI throughout. We've added new smart experiences to the camera and we'll continue to deliver the best photography. Plus, we're introducing some innovative new products to complement your Pixel experience. We do all this by bringing together the best of hardware, software, and AI. Let's begin with the design. The all aluminum body with a premium hybrid coating, gives it a sleek and clean profile. The soft sculpted back with a distinct sideband feels comfortable and secure in your hand. The refined visor is made of sturdy, gently curved colored glass and transitions seamlessly into the metal body. We also added a small pop of color on the power button 
for a bit of playfulness. Over on the front, Pixel 2's front-facing stereo speakers are precision tuned to deliver the perfect balance of volume, clarity, and frequency response. If you prefer headphones, use your existing analog headphones with the included adapter, or your digital USB-C headphones for the highest resolution audio all the way to your ears. Or if the smaller 5-inch Pixel 2 features a full HD OLED display. And it's as smart as it is beautiful. The display intelligently selects which specific pixels to turn on, leaving the others perfectly dark for a 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio. Pixel 2 comes in three colors, kind of blue, just black, and clearly white. <laughs> we elegantly curve the glass to bring the display to the edges for a full screen immersive viewing experience. The screen supports 18 by 9 QHD plus resolution with over 4.1 million pixels, which equals 538 pixels per inch for amazing detail. We've integrated a circular polarizer, which lets you enjoy the screen even while wearing sunglasses. And we've optimized the displays on both phones for virtual reality. They're both daydream ready. The Pixel 2 XL comes in two colors, just black and the stylishly simple black and white. Both devices <laughs> just 15 minutes. Now, Sabrina from the Pixel product team is going to take us through the new Pixel 2 UI and some cool and useful features. And you'll see improvements throughout the Pixel 2's UI. That helpfulness starts before you've even unlocked the phone. Let me show you the Pixel 2's new always on display. And there's more than just notifications on your always on display. Have you ever heard a song you loved and wondered what it was called? This is from our new collection called The Living Universe. And if you look closely, you'll notice subtle movements like the waves crashing on the beach. I love that. In this case, I can see that I've got a mysterious meeting coming up. Not sure what that's about. <laughs> we found that it's easier to reach and we're making it even more powerful. It stays with you as you swipe across your screens of apps and widgets. As I start typing, I can see web search results at the top, but also contacts and apps from my phone. I can even drag an app from here and drop it right on my home screen with a new feature called Active Edge. Just give your pixel a quick squeeze where your hand naturally holds the phone and ask for whatever you need. Here's a quick demo. Take a selfie. One hand, no buttons. Help me out, front row. <laughs> After a lot of work in machine learning, we're able to accurately identify an intentional squeeze. We're really proud of how it turned out, and it even works when your phone is in a case. And having the same assistant at home and on your phone means the experience is connected across devices. And we've also customized routines specifically from when you're on the go. The one I use most is when I'm on my commute. I jump in my car, drop my phone in the cup holder, and say, OK, Google, let's go home. Sure, let's go. Your commute home is currently 27 minutes with heavy traffic if you take US 101 South. You have one unread text message. It's from mom. It says, we'll bring dessert to dinner tonight. Here's where you left off in fresh air. Have a safe drive. I'm Terry Gross with Fresh Air. Like all the new routines that the assistant will support, you can customize this one based on your preferences. So with a quick squeeze, useful routines on the go, and an assistant that keeps getting smarter, Pixel continues to be the most helpful phone around. With features like notification dots, picture in picture, and many more. If you already have a Pixel, you recently received the Android Oreo update and we hope you're enjoying all the improvements. As a Pixel user, you'll always be the first to get OS and security updates without having to do anything. Your phone becomes faster, more capable, and more secure all the time. As you heard Sundar talk about, we believe that as computers can understand what you see, it unleashes a whole new kind of assistance, a way to do more with what you see. 
We're super excited to bring a preview of Lens to Pixel phones this year. So let's see it in action. As a guilty mom, I've done this. As you know, the email addresses on them are always so long, like bestmusicteachersf2001 at gmail.com. <laughs> now, you can simply tap on the Lens icon, grab that right information, and fire off that email. This also works for phone numbers, websites, and addresses. We just talked about how the phone can help you understand the world, but it can also help you place things into the world. And with Lego, my favorite, you can build virtual models with characters that really come to life. All the fun, no Lego pieces to step on. <laughs> with AR stickers, you can express yourself with playful emojis, like these fun food characters here. There's lots to choose from, and more will be added over time. Our partners are also making some fun stickers here. And I want to show some of them to you right now. Yes? OK. Uh, so let's pick a character. Let's pick Demi Gorgon and place him right next to me. Whoa. OK. <laughs> and notice how they're not just reacting to the environment around them. They're reacting to each other. Right? They know each other's presence. That's a big reaction. These interactions make some really interesting moments here. Wow. That was, that was the highest rating that DxO Mark had ever issued to a smartphone. With Pixel 2, we have reimagined smartphone photography through great hardware and unparalleled imaging software, tuned by our engineers and researchers. We're proud to announce that DxO Mark has issued Pixel 2 an unprecedented score of 98. <laughs> Pixel 2 has a 12 megapixel f1.8 aperture rear camera with optical image stabilization. We've integrated these components with our HDR plus computational photography. For every photo, we take a burst of shots with short exposure times to avoid blowing out the highlights. We then align and combine each pixel algorithmically for optimal color and contrast. This year, we've increased the dynamic range and improved texture and sharpness. And combined with a new autofocus mechanism and optical image stabilization to reduce blur from shaky hands, you get amazing shots every time, like this and this. We're applying Google's unmatched computational photography and machine learning. Portrait mode lets you take professional looking shots with a blurred background to make the foreground pop, like what you might capture with an SLR camera. Other smartphones do this by combining the images from two cameras. Pixel 2 does portrait mode with just one camera and machine learning. What's unique about Pixel 2 is that it can generate a true depth map with a single lens. So it includes a dual pixel sensor technology. This means that each pixel in an image con contains a right and a left view. The difference in perspective from those pixels, combined with machine learning models trained on almost a million photos, means that this works on really hard cases, like a busy, colorful background. And yes, this does work with objects, too. Because of the quality of Google's computational photography with a single camera, you can also take portrait selfies through the front camera on both the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL at the same time. Other smartphones do optical or digital, we do, uh, but don't do both at the same time. During video recording on a Pixel 2, the OIS hardware actively corrects shake artifacts, while at the same time, the software-based video stabilization uses intelligent frame look ahead to stabilize the overall video. The result is less motion blur, even in low light. Your videos look smooth and professional. But of course, the proof is in the photos and videos. So we invited some photographers and producers to test drive the new camera, and they were stunned by what they can do with the Pixel 2. So the Pixel 2's photo experience doesn't end when you take a photo or shoot a video. We want users to be able to easily find them and store them securely without having to worry about running out of storage. After Pixel 2 users will continue to get free unlimited storage for all of the photos and videos they capture in the highest resolution, including 4K videos and motion photos. This is a big deal. If you had to use iCloud, you'd reach your free limit in less than three months. 
With Pixel, you can safely and effortlessly, effortlessly store all of your memories for free. Finding your photo, the photo you're looking for, is our problem and not yours. So to recap, the smart and simple Pixel 2 has everything you'd expect from a smartphone and some things you might not. A gorgeous display that brings your apps, photos, and videos to life. An all-day battery that charges super fast. Easy, quick access to the Google Assistant, which understands you. Fun and useful ways to use your camera, like Google Lens and AR. We're also making it easier than ever to switch to Pixel. Most new Pixel users will be able to transfer their stuff from their old phone in less than 10 minutes, <laughs> including all of your photos, apps, and even your iMessages. Uh, Pixel 2, with its 5-inch cinematic display, starts at $649 for the 64-gigabyte version. The Pixel 2 XL has a 6-inch full-screen POLED display and starts at $849. Both phones will be available in six countries, Australia, Canada, Germany, India, the UK, and the US. You can pre-order starting today. <laughs> Pixel owners can customize a live case with a favorite photo, place, artwork, or one of, your, uh, one of our Google Earth designs. And more than 250 Pixel 2 accessories from 25 popular brands will be av made available through our Made for Google program. We're including a Google Home Mini with each purchase of a Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL for a limited time in Australia, Canada, Germany, the UK, and the US. to make your Pixel 2 experience even better. Let's start with the newly updated Google Daydream View. Our we kept everything from last year that people loved and we made it even better that complement this year's Made by Google family. We also upgraded the lenses and the fabrics so the headset has our widest field of view yet and is super light and comfortable. We have more than 250 high quality VR titles. We've also seen that people love going places with VR videos, so we're excited to announce a slate of premium video content coming to Daydream, including multiple new original series on YouTube VR. These movies sound as amazing as they look. And now, you can even cast the experience to the TV so your friends and family can see what you're seeing. And will be available for $99. Works perfectly with Pixel 2 our first pair of premium wireless headphones. They're called, they're called Google Pixel Buds, delivering clear highs and deep bass. So whether it's jazz, house, or a symphony, it all sounds incredible. You simply tap to start and stop your music or swipe forwards and backwards to change the volume. We optimize the experience to be quick and easy just touch and hold the earbud and ask your assistant to play music, send a text, or give walking directions, all while keeping your phone in your pocket. Pixel Buds work great with Pixel. They even give you access to a new real-time translation experience. To show you how easy this experience is, I'd like to invite Isabel back on stage for a conversation in her native language. We're letting you connect with the world around you in a more natural way, by rethinking how a headphone should work, connecting it to cloud-based machine learning, and giving you access with the touch of a finger. They provide up to five hours of listening time with just one charge. And the case holds multiple charges, 
So you get up to 24 hours of listening time when you're on the go. Pixel Buds are available in clearly white, kind of blue, and just black <laughs> to beautifully complement your Pixel 2. $159 and pre-orders begin today. <laughs> it's about photography. Now we all love photos. Yeah. Google Clips. And this first edition is specifically designed with parents and pet owners in mind. So you'll capture more of those spontaneous smiles, first steps, and first tricks. A high performance lens, a powerful image sensor. It has a shutter button. But that's not what this camera is all about. We reimagine this camera from the inside out, starting with the software and applying machine learning to build a camera that takes photos for you so you can enjoy the moment and instantly get shots you couldn't get before. Talk about what that engine does. When you're behind a camera, you look for people you care about. You look for smiles. You look for that moment your dog starts chasing her tail. <laughs> Clips does all of that for you. Turn it on and it captures the moment so you can be in the moment. It's gonna get smarter over time. We also reimagine what camera hardware should do for you. So you can easily toss it into your pocket. And it's a hands-free camera, so you can get these amazing new perspectives on your experience and get yourself in the shot. <laughs> now from the beginning, we knew privacy and control really matter. Next, it looks for stable, clear shots of people you know and you help the camera learn who's important to you. All the machine learning happens on the device itself. So just like any point and shoot, nothing leaves your device until you decide to save and share it. <laughs> so here's some clips I've captured with my family at home. Now, as you can see, it's not just photos that Clips is taking. It's taking little snippets that capture the whole moment. We call that brings together the best of Google AI, software, and hardware. $249. Take a look at some of these great clips from our earliest users. Enjoy. What you just saw in Pixel Buds and Clips blends AI with the best of Google software and high performance hardware to create new, radically helpful experiences for users. The two newest members of the Google Home family, the beautiful new Pixel phones, and our premium Pixelbook laptop. Your personal Google is ready to get you the help you need when you need it. This year's Made by Google family. Look great together. And they also work great together. And for you live stream viewers, take a closer look at our new products at our redesigned Google store. Thank you so much and enjoy your day.